Hey everyone, welcome back to Modern React tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to talk about React forms. So let's get started. I'm going to create a simple form component first. I'm going to write a function name form. And this function is going to return a simple form. So this is going to have a name and we'll have the input type will be text and I'm going to give it a name of name and I'll create one more input component type of submit and value of submit okay so this is my simple form name form which I have created I'm going to render it here so name form I see my application well I forgot to put the form so I need to start with the form actually so I'm going to put form here and let's end it with the form tag I'm going to format a bit there you go we have our form rendered on the right hand side so react forms works the way html form works you can just create a form normal form like how we create the forms in html you just write this form tag then the label then various input fields or the form fields you can use and you can have a submit button but this input this input field but this input is a component in react so the react team the developers at react they have created all of this form components within react itself so if i type something here say suppose i want to type my name you see the values the input values are changing right so this is state in react and all of this state is managed by the react code only so if you want to submit this data you just need to add an action here and you can pass it action to some underscore action dot php page or maybe a java page or gsp page something like this so you can pass this action to some of the page which you have already written so it is going to take this name value and it is going to submit to this action page so if i type something here like this and if i submit this is just a default behavior right once we submit the form the page get refreshed like how it happens in html so you see here right it's showing some error the code pen is showing some error this part doesn't exist but most of the times when we create react applications we need to handle this data right I mean, whatever we have input in this input field when we click on a submit button we need to perform some action on that data maybe we need to trigger some validation on that data maybe we need to massage that data before sending it on the server side so you cannot do that using this input component so you cannot do that using the way we have written here using this action or the default html form way in react for that purpose we need to convert this component this input component to something called a controlled component so i am going to write it down this is a new term maybe controlled component so right now this is uncontrolled component i can say 
because I'm not controlling this component, React is controlling the state of this component. So somehow I need to convert this input into, or I need to convert this name form, which is the entire form into a controlled component so that I can control the state of this input. So once I have the state of this input component, I can do whatever I want, right? I can handle the data. I can handle the input values, which has been submitted to this input component, right? So let's convert this form into a controlled component and convert this input into controlled input. To do that, obviously we are going to use state. So I'm going to remove this part. Now let's convert this name form into a controlled input. So maybe I don't need this name or I'll keep it, keep it. So let's pass a value to this. Now this value, I'm going to give it initial value from the state. And we know in react how to create a state, right? So I'm going to define a variable. So I'm going to put const name. Okay. And I'm going to write a set name. I'm going to use a react dot use state. And the initial value will be blank. Okay. So I'm going to use this name here instead of this blank. So now I've converted this input into a controlled component, partially actually, not completely. So I'm populating its name value. So all the input fields, you know, they have the value property or a value attribute. So I'm passing the, that value from my state. So I've created a state variable name. I have the state set name function also, which I'm going to use in some time. React.useState blank. So initially you see, we don't see any value here. So suppose I put Sandeep here. You're going to see that value here. So you see that I got the initial value. So I'm going to keep it blank. So now my input value is getting populated from the state. I need to change its value when I type, when I type something here, right? How can we do that? To do that, I can write a function, right? I mean, I can write event handler. So I'm going to write an event handler on change. So when this input value is going to change, I'm going to call a function which will change the value, right? So I'm going to write handle change function. Let's write that function here. Just going to take event So all the input component, I mean, all the form component like button or input. So we can write handler function. So I have written on change. They have the event like change. So I'm writing on change. I'm writing a change handler and this handler handler function by default gets something called event object. Now I can console.log this event object or at least I'm, I'm try, I'll try to log the target. So I'm going to save, I'm going to open the console here. Now, whenever I'm going to type something here, see that I'm getting that input element as a target. But did you notice something? I'm typing something here, but It's not getting typed. Even I try to enter something from here, it's not working. Why? Because the input value is a state now and initial value of state is blank. I'm not updating that state. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to update that state inside this function. So I'm going to use this event.target and I'm going to change my state. So I'm going to use this set name function and I'm going to pass event.target.value to this one. So now if I save and now if I try to type something, see that I have converted my normal react input component 
into a controlled input component. How I did that? I've created a state. I've assigned the initial state. So we got something called value attribute in input component here. I'm passing the initial value. And when user is, is going to type something inside this input field, I'm going to listen for the on change event. I've written handle change handler function, which takes event as an argument. And I'm using that event dot target dot value to set the new value of my react state. Simple, very easy, right? Let's continue this example and we're going to convert one more form component that is text area. Let's see the example of text area. So I'm going to copy this code. So I'm going to show you some of the example of different components or the popular component which we use. Okay, so I'm going to copy this code to keep it for your reference and paste it again. And this is a input component example. So I'm going to comment this one. Okay, so let's move on. I'm going to create one more component called address form. And this time I'm going to use text area instead of input. So let me start from the scratch. Okay. This will give you a lot of practice. So instead of name, I'm going to change it to address. And I'm not going to use input here. I'm going to use text area, text area, component of HTML. But in this case, it's a react. So react has created text area component inside their code. So I'm going to copy this one address form, change the name form to address form so that we can see something is getting rendered here. So I got the address form and in HTML, how we can assign the initial value to this text area. I can write something here like one street to street, I don't know. I'm just putting some random values, right? So this is how we initialize the initial value when we create the form using the HTML way. I mean, I've created text area, but we can convert this form into controlled component. So I'm going to copy this code from here. So let's copy this one from here. And I'm going to paste this code here. So instead of name, I'm going to change it to address. And then I'm going to write set, set address. So initial value will be and handle change targeted value. So instead of set name, I'm going to change it to set address. Now in our text area, also we have something called value and I can assign that value my state value. See that? So initially we don't have any value. That's why this text area is blank. And we do have something called handle change function. Sorry, I just need to write on change actually. So on change. And here I'm going to write handle change, which I have already written. So now if I save my code, I can type anything one street to street. See that? So like how we have converted our input component into a controlled component. Similarly, we can do for text area also. Let's see one final example. We're going to create one more component that is a select component and how we can convert that into a controlled component. So I'm going to copy my input only. So I, I think I, I already have that copied. So I'm going to paste it here. So I'll go down. I'm going to paste my code here. No, I think I need to copy once again. So let me copy this form. 
and I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to comment this address form just for your reference. Okay. So now I'm going to create one more form with like city form. And this time I'm going to use the select component. So let's start from scratch. I'm going to use select. So this is just like how we create select component in HTML. You need to write in a similar way. So I got the select, then I'm going to have different option. So let me create different option here. So first option would be like Mumbai. Let me copy these options from here. So second option would be, I'll go with Pune. Third option, I can go with Delhi. I'm just creating different city option here. And I'm going to put some value also so that I can target it. So there is a value attribute in HTML. So this will be Mumbai. I'm going to copy this one. This will be Pune. And this will be Delhi. So I got my form. I just need to render it with different select option. I'm going to change it to address. And sorry, not address, city. And this will be city form save see that so mumbai is by default selected if i want to change it to pune i can use something called select probably let me try that i think it doesn't work i think selected is attribute so let me try that it's working right so in html this is how we put the value the selected attribute and it is automatically going to select that particular option in the select input but we but right now this component is not a controlled component right we need to convert this component into something called a controlled component so obviously for select also we have something called value so i don't need this selected here because i'm going to set this value using my state right so i'm going to create a state called city or maybe i'm going to call it selected city and i'll have a function called set city okay and initial value will be probably i'll go with tally right and i'm going to use this selected state city as a value here something like this See that? That initial value is now coming from my state and it's getting selected here inside the component. Inside my select component, right? Now I want to change the value, right? I'm trying to change this value, but it's not changing because I didn't handle it, right? I need to handle it. And how can we handle that? We can use on change function. We have similar function what we have used in the input and in the text area component. So I'm going to write my handle change. It's really simple and really similar. But I just wanted to show you because this is, these are some of the common form elements which we are going to use while writing the applications. So handle change inside handle change. I'm going to call set city. So let's call it set city, not city. Of I'm writing that set city event dot target dot value. I think this should work event dot target dot value. So now I'm going to see if initial value is Delhi. Let's change it to Mumbai. Cool. It's working as expected. Pune, Delhi, and I can submit the form if I want. But this submit part is not working, right? So let's wrap it 
with the submit part. So I'm going to write on submit event of the form and I'm going to write my controlled function. So handle submit const should be const handle submit just going to take some argument that is event and first of all i'm going to prevent the default action of refreshing the page right so form automatically refresh the page and you know i can check here like console.log now i can log my state here like selected city if i want to selected city okay let's save if i take pune let me open the console let's clear it submit let's change it to pune submit i think the submit part is not working i've written handle submit handle submit is there a typo in my code yes there is a typo i see that select Ted city should be the state value. So S E L E C T E D selected city. Let me put that select city here and here. I'm going to save and let's try to change the value to Pune submit. See that? We have converted our entire form into a controlled input component and even the form is not getting submitted automatically. I mean, even the form is not getting refreshed when I click on submit button because this time we are handling the form using our own handler function. So you can do whatever you want here, right? You can take all of these values, you can put some validation. You want to do some massaging of data, you can do that inside this handle submit function. You can send it to a server side. You can do a lot of different stuff here inside this handle submit function. So, I mean, this is a really easy video. I would say we can use a symbolish form of HTML. This, all of these are like React components only, but we need to convert into a, something called com controlled component while using all of these form elements. So this is it. This is about React forms. And I think you like this video. If you like this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel. I think I came a long way. I've created a lot of React beginner, modern React beginner tutorial series. I've covered some of the hooks also. I'm going to cover more hooks in the upcoming video. And yes, I'm going to create some small projects. Then maybe we can move with some intermediate and some advanced level of projects also in React. So this is it. I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.